another sheet you might want to work on is the site analysis sheet. This is how to run site analysis and run it very quickly. I'll first create a dummy box to represent the building. I can do that by creating uh, what we call um, extrusion. So under architecture, go to components, go to model in place, click on it, and then under architecture casework, that's okay. And select, let's say, the dummy box, so you can name it anything you want. Then uh, I'll create an extrusion. If you click on the extrusion tab, an extrusion works in such a way you create a profile and the profile extrudes. So click on pick lines, click on tab like we did before, click on finish, select it. You can also increase the depth. So normally we're talking about uh, a building with three floors, maybe about um, 9 meters in total, 10 meters, but I'm just going to call mine 11 meters. So I'm going to type in 11 meters. So I've just created that. And if you go to your 3D button by clicking here and clicking this home key, you'll see the box I've created. And the good thing about this, um, okay, now the, the, the extent of the site is not showing. We can actually do that by um, using model lines to represent the edges of the site. So click on finish to finish the box. I'm just going to go under um, architecture, model lines, use big lines. I can use very basic lines also. So select one, press tab, like I said. Or just click to pick. Yeah. So I have these lines that will show on 3D to show the extent of the site. And this. So I'm going to just click this home button and then conduct some site analysis. Okay, so we can see the extent of the site using the model lines. I want to introduce you to some tools here. One of them is the visual style. When you click on it, just select consistent colors so that you can see this. And then after that, I want to uh, create a view where I would just conduct my site analysis. I right click on this default 3D view and click on duplicate. You can duplicate with detailing. After that, I created the view and then I renamed it to some part analysis. And this is the view. So let's go ahead and create our some part analysis. So the first thing I want to do is to come on that sun path settings, turn the sun path on, and then create a view that you think is okay for you to appreciate your project properly. After that, you can now turn off the, you can lock the view. To do that, you just click on this view with lock and say, save orientation and lock view. You can pan, but you can't change the view. So this is the view that we're going to be working on. So the next thing I want to do is to make sure that the sun setting is exactly close to where your site is. On that sun setting here, select the multi-day lighting. You can select one year solar study. On that location, click on it and then access your location online. So what I'll do, I'm in Nigeria. I'm just going to type um, Abuja, Nigeria here under this address. So Abuja, Nigeria and click on search. Now, options for Abuja and Nigeria will come out. I can select one. It's going to lead me to Abuja, this Abuja here. And then I can zoom in and move this object to almost where my site is. This zone. So you can click and target to where your site is. I select it somewhere around here. Uh, just uh, and then you can just pick any part and click on OK. Once you do that, the exact location is going to come up here. Then you can choose the dates for your how long the solar study. So I picked a one-year solar study, 1st January 2021. So make sure that at least the intervals between this is one year so that it can cover the whole year. And you click on OK. And then um, this is the this is the solar part. Now, this view is not exactly as I want it. I want to appreciate it this way. So I might just unlock the view and then um, um, click on this button here and help me update the view to where I can appreciate it. So we can see the solar panel path from here to here, all year round from this building. Mostly the sun is overhead in the building and it goes between east to west because we are staying close to the equator. So that's what we should expect. So this is the way to um, conduct it. You can also select this and increase the size so that you can appreciate it. Select the solar panel and uh, solar cycle and say, let's say 250. See, it's far more bigger than the building. 
uh, if you see 100, it gets smaller to the building. So it depends on the size of your project and uh, how you want it to be. So with these solar studies, I can go back and lock this view and then drag it into my site plan. So and listen so we can see the scale is really big you double click on it like we did the last time we can see scale one is to 200 this is more sizable you deactivate the view click and drag to the point in the site and then if you want to hide this also no problem so this is some ways you could create some um, site analysis for your project add some text and go ahead to add your fees and submit this to the client if the client approves this then that means you are good to begin your project page for the fees and scope of work you may not do it here you can do it in excel or any place you feel confident but if you still want to do it here it's still very easy you go to annotate you can use some detailed lines um, form some blocks uh, uh, some tables uh, use tr as a shortcut to print can copy these lines to make tables uh, or offset them as the case may be. You can use copy multiple to keep repeating the copy and then use text to fill in the details of their costs. So, and once you do that, you can have a space for the client to sign off if you want. So you can come here and say client sign off. That's very good. For the design stage so that you are sure that this client has engaged you so you are not working uh, without them you can also sign off here in the architect sign off so you can do architect sign off here and then you are good to go so to export these sheets you go to file click on export or oh, i want to print it print and print as pdf or send to my printer i'm just going to print as pdf I'll ask to combine multiple sheets here, and I'll click Selected View and Sheets. Click on Select, on Check Views, or first of all, click on Check Now, on Check All the Views, click on Check All for the views for the sheets you are exporting, and uh, you may say yes or no, depending. This on the, before you export, you go to Settings, on that default setup. Make sure this paper size is exactly the paper size you use in your project. You can fit to page or you can zoom to 100. I always like to zoom to 100 and make sure this is a center. Um, pretty much I don't touch anything here for now. And then make sure this is set back to combine multiple sheets. Select where you want to save your work and click OK. It still will ask you where you want to save your work. So that's why I didn't bother. And then I'm going to save this file. So Revit goes ahead to export the file and then you send it to your client and then you make sure your client agrees to these terms and conditions. With this, you would have sorted out your pre-design stage and you'll be ready to go into schematic designs. So this is what we're able to produce in Revit for our pre-design document. And this is very possible to do, like I've shown you, and it's, uh, it's pretty easy. So go ahead and prepare your pre-design documents and always try as much as you can to do this before starting any other project. Ciao. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. Goodbye.